ship for man. One giant leap for mankind. Ever since man took his first steps in space, others have wanted to follow. Science fiction and Hollywood have brought us visions of futuristic spaceships bound for other worlds. And over the years, space tourism has gone from an exciting idea to a developing industry. This year, that might even become a reality. As footage of space missions has improved, the media hype around space travel has grown rapidly, along with the public interest. When Ed White, pictured here, became the first American to walk in space, he didn't want to go back into his capsule. And when Mission Control finally talked him back in, he said, this is the saddest moment of my life. And I can understand that. How couldn't it be? How can you look at that picture or this picture at astronauts, whether it's from the 60s or for today, how can you look at that picture of Tracy Caldwell Dyson just chilling out on the International Space Station and think anything other than, God, what I wouldn't give to be there, to float around like that, to see that view, that view, this kind of view. In recent years, the establishment of a number of commercial space companies has made the dream of space travel appear closer than ever before, and not just for astronauts. Virgin Galactic has been a front runner in offering commercial space flights, but has yet to embark on its maiden commercial voyage. Growing excitement about the company was derailed last year when the spacecraft VSS Enterprise broke apart during a test flight in November. The accident killed co-pilot Mike Alsbury and injured pilot Pete Seibold, with the cause of the tragedy still under investigation by the US Transportation Safety Board. Acting Chairman Christopher A. Hart tells us more. We have months and months of investigation to determine what the cause was. We'll be looking at training issues. We'll be looking at was there pressure to continue testing. We'll be looking at safety culture. We'll be looking at the design, the procedure. We've got many, many issues to look into much more extensively before we can determine the cause. With the industry still reeling from the accident, 2015 will be a crucial year for Virgin and its peers, but so far the signs are looking positive. Virgin Galactic is in the process of building a new test spacecraft and will continue testing once this is complete. Space tourism rival XCOR Aerospace has been pre-selling short space trips and plans to begin taking passengers later this year. We anticipate about a 75 degree flight path. You'll be pressed back at two and a half G's or so. You're going straight up, that's the key element of it. Things happen in a hurry. That altimeter is clicking by pretty darn fast. About 70 to 80,000 feet, the sky starts to turn dark. By 100,000 feet, it's gone black. So once we get to main engine cutoff, we'll have a brief period of weightlessness and the arms will kind of float. And then you have several minutes to enjoy the view and, and enjoy for yourself the sensation of being where so few have gone before. You get an opportunity to maneuver using the reaction control systems, turn it upside down and pick different attitudes and just hold there. You're going to get a spectacular view. And then from there, it's just a long glide back home. But it's not just transport in space that has our attention, but accommodation. Bigelow Aerospace is making private, expandable space habitats that can be placed in orbit and accommodate guests. Given that Bigelow will be testing its habitat modules aboard the International Space Station this year, it clearly has big plans, and announced in December over a hundred new positions with the company. It could well become the first organization to establish hotels in the stars. And that brings a whole new meaning to the idea of a room with a view.